Why Staffordshire Moorlands and High Peak decided to share a chief executive was because High Peak had a vacancy for a chief executive. Uh, Staffordshire Moorlands chief exec had already uh, partaken and been part of a shared chief exec experience with another county or district within Staffordshire. It worked, it gave members confidence and they wanted to give it a go. How did we decide to share services? Well, after the chief executive was put in post, we put a business case together, uh, supplemented by some external resource, did it over about a four week period. Members were involved and that identified that we could work together, create significant efficiency savings and improve performance for the public. The major achievements so far have been significant efficiency improvements over the past two years of about 10% cashable efficiencies per year. We've improved performance along a number of service areas, primarily grounds maintenance, environmental health and community safety. But along with that, we've got the confidence of members who are now confident enough to let officers get on with the job of transformation. If we were to start again, we would probably put the senior management structure in place quicker. We tried to transform services whilst we had separate heads of services from the two councils. It really didn't work. Staff didn't know who the boss was. It created tensions that were unnecessary. So I'd say if anybody was trying to do this, get your senior management structures sorted out first. The measures we put in place to make sure the changes are fully embedded are around process improvements so that the process design are irreversible, so that staff can't go back to the old way of doing things. On top of that, as part of the transformation board, it's important to have other enablers uh, who support the transformation, and particularly around finance and organisational development. They operate a quality assurance role to make sure that performance continues to improve and we make the efficiency savings we need to. If I were to give one piece of advice to other organisations embarking on the same journey, I would be saying develop your own capacity. If you need to use some external help to start off with, that's okay, but try and use your own staff, develop your own methodology to implement change within the organisation.